Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And today I'm just downstairs, it's Saturday morning, and I just thought I'd pop on here real quick to show you one of our big projects for the month of November. We're talking all about transportation this month, and this is a super fun project, and I just wanted to share it with you all. If you're new here, my name is Krista, and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping halls, and the odd family vlog. You've probably heard a lot about process art versus product art. And our project actually really marries the two really well together. I don't think one is necessarily better or worse than the other. I think there's room for learning in both process and product art. If you're unfamiliar, product art is more about learning skills. So you might want to use product art when you're trying to teach scissor skills or listening skills shapes, symmetry, spatial awareness, those sort of things. And it's also often used for things like gifts or decorations or special keepsakes. Process art is much more about discovery and play. Children have a lot more freedom to make decisions for themselves and take risks. And the end result is they are really working towards their own individual creativity. So let me show you what we've started. So you can see that we started to make different types of vehicles. The first thing I did was in my monthly newsletter, I requested that each family bring in one box for their child. This is an easy thing to request nowadays with so many things being shipped to our homes in boxes. And then at circle time, we read this book called Alpha Beep, a zipping, zooming ABC. And in this book, it actually talks about a lot of different types of vehicles. So the children had an idea of the different types of cars that we have. And then we had a quick discussion about which kind of vehicle each child wanted to make. And so they all had different ideas and then we got started. The first day, the children were able to paint their boxes. And this was probably one of the highlights of the whole process. I recommend using sponges for this since we're covering a lot of ground with the boxes. It's, it can be really challenging for younger children to cover a lot of space using a paintbrush. And so I recommend using a sponge, but this was really great for the children because they practiced squeezing the paint in their hands. So it was a great sensory experience for them. They were able to paint however they wanted. Some of the older children were really particular and they wanted to cover every part of their box, whereas some of the younger children only covered parts of their box. And so I love the process of painting the box. The next day we talked about the different things that these vehicles do. So a police car might have lights, a garbage truck has garbage, and we talked about all the different things that our vehicles might need. One of my littles is making a garbage truck and every teacher knows that you hang on to every piece of cardboard there is. And so we have these great pieces of cardboard. So my little guy that wants to make a fire truck painted his ladder pieces. Again, this is another great process art. Some of my children aren't quite ready for scissor skills just yet. And so if there were any pieces like this for like say a garbage truck, I just went ahead and cut out those pieces for them. And the children that were able to cut their own pieces went ahead and cut out some pieces the second day. So this was a great opportunity for them to practice product art. One of my kiddos is making an ice cream truck. So we made a little ice cream cone and we stuffed some tissue paper inside for the ice cream. And so that was what we did the second day. And then next week, we're going to put it all together. So once we put the whole truck together, that's definitely gonna be a product art because at the end, we're going to have the truck that we all intended to make. I love that this project had a mix of the two, but the end result is gonna be a super fun, functioning toy for the children to play with during the month of our transportation theme. 
I wanted to point out some super fun items I found at the Dollar Tree in case you are interested in doing this in your classroom. So I'll just show you some of the really fun things I found. The Dollar Tree has these great little garbage baskets in their stationary section. And I just thought this looked just like a garbage can. So we got this, so we took this out. And fortunately it was just Halloween. So we grabbed some little Halloween tr trick or treat wrappers and put it in the garbage. Dollar Tree right now has these amazing vinyl sheets. They just happen to have some sprinkle ones. So I thought this was perfect for our ice cream truck. And Dollar Tree also has great letters if you need to spell anything for your truck. The little police car, for the little police car, I found these great little stars in the party section. I also found these great little blue and red tea lights. And I thought these would make really great lights for the police car. I definitely recommend using sponges for covering a lot of surface. It's an interesting material for children to use and it's a great way to cover a lot of surface. Also for the fire truck, I have this great big wrapping paper tube that always comes in handy for something. And I thought for the hose, the children can just stuff in some tissue paper for the water and they can have a hose for their fire truck. So it's super simple for them to just stuff in some blue tissue paper for a hose. So when they're all finished, I'll hop on here and give you an update.